All right, now three one W Z A K Sam Silk Show at BZU Star. Uh, we are South Reality Hour, Kenya. Real people, real life situation. And uh, I said he was coming up in the tour because like hour, but he's here now. Mm. And special guest on Reality Hour today, Doctor Vernon. What's up, man? I'm Pastor Vernon is in here. Sam, I am. You are the man in Cleveland. What's, What's going on? I'm What's blessed. going on? I'm blessed. Let's get it. Yeah. Okay. So, so Kenya's going to read the letter. I haven't heard the letter yet. All right. I haven't, didn't read it. All right. And we give our honest thoughts, All and we read some of the comments. Let's do it. And uh, let's dive into it. What we got? All right. Dear Sam, I've been dating my boyfriend for close to three years now. Mm. He's incredibly sweet, attentive, smart, and funny. I love him, and I know that he loves me, too. The issue is that, with his crazy schedule, he has a demanding job and attends his kids' activities at least once a week. I try to be sympathetic to that. However, he gets involved with all of these other activities that limit any time we can spend together, like hanging out with his boys, volunteering at the church, and attending his fraternity meetings. Mm. But it irks me that he never attempts to make plans with me. Mm, About mm. a year ago, we broke up for several months. He broke up with me, telling me he felt bad that he didn't have enough time for me in our relationship. We got back together last August when he told me he couldn't live without me, that he wanted to spend his life with me and have children and everything else I wanted. I'm afraid that I'm being too hard on him since we've gotten back together, that I'm being too defensive. Or am I in a relationship where I will never be a priority for my partner? I love him. I know he's great. But I don't want to spend my life with someone who doesn't want to make time for me. Am I being too needy? You just you just said it. What? No, mm. he's not making time. Mm. He he has more excuses. You make time for what you want. Mm. But is that being needy though? No, she's not being needy. She she wants to spend time with him. I get that. Right. You you want to spend you in a relationship. Mm. He's a busy guy. Though. But I hear he's a busy guy. But you have to make time for what you want a, and who you want. A man is never too busy for a woman he wants. Yeah. Dang. A brother can have two jobs, a wife and a mistress. <laughs> If, he, if he's trying to get to his mistress, he'll uh-huh. make time. Uh-huh. I'll say this. One of the things I say in my book, 10 Rules of Dating, uh, is is engage or disengage. Mm-hmm. After three years, you know if you want me. Mm-hmm. Uh, he may like touching you. He don't want you. Mm-hmm. If he wanted you, he'd marry you to make sure you can have nobody else. Mm-hmm. And that's what we had today. The gentleman, yeah, yeah. the gentleman that called today. Yeah. That's too long. And he said, you know what? I could not see myself. Mm-hmm. And he realized. With, I couldn't see her. He said, I couldn't see her. When they had two with two kids. Mm-hmm. They had a couple of children. A couple yeah. of kids. He mm-hmm. said, I couldn't see her with nobody else. So I married her. If a man wants you, <laughs> a man knows if he wants to marry you really in the first couple of months. Mm-hmm. When it gets to be three and four years, he, uh-huh. don't, he don't want you like that. Uh-huh. He may like the benefits of you uh-huh. and may be so selfish he don't want somebody else to have you. Uh-huh. But he don't love you enough to make you his. Uh-huh. And so, so you say two or three months. You know, you know that quickly. Yeah. You, you may take a okay. year or so because uh-huh. you, you need to go to one of them family reunions and, uh-huh. and see crazy, <laughs> crazy right, Auntie right. Maxine and Uncle Drunk Joe. Yeah. You know, so so I tell people you, you need about a year, but I talk about engage or yeah. disengage. Yeah. At some point, particularly as a believer, he say he goes to church, mm-hmm. uh, and I take it they not celibate, so mm-hmm. he probably you know doing what he do with her. Uh-huh. At some point, it's like you gonna be my wife or you not. Mm-hmm. When a man falls a woman, falls in love with a woman. He's gonna marry that woman. Yeah, he's gonna marry that woman. Yeah, I'm telling you what it, it, it was a it was a it was a what, two year break. Oh, with and the then, other couple. When they get when they no this one they 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 broke up then they got back together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Last August. And then it's the together. and so it's the same. Nothing has changed. Right, but no, he, how do you know? I mean, you both are very busy entrepreneurial mm-hmm. men. You know, you have things to do out here in these streets. So. How do you know whether you're just asking too much, you know, if you're trying to impede his progress? I, I pass to thousands of people. Oh. I cover hundreds of pastors across the country. I travel, and I, I'm an entrepreneur. I got plenty of time for Vicki Rose Vernon. I know that's right. Matter of fact, I want her with me doing it. Okay. So his schedule is not his issue. His priorities are. Yeah, now put um, it in play. Yeah, so I'm saying that to say clearly, and I say that, and it can be hard, particularly when I talked about this shortage of black man. Here's a brother just giving you some love. I don't know how old she is. You don't want to be mm-hmm. alone. But that said, don't settle. Mm-hmm. At some point, you're going to marry me if you're going to sleep with me. Mm. Because if not, you'll look up, it'll be 30 years, 
And then here's what's crazy. Uh, he died. They don't even say your name at the funeral. Yeah. Mm. yeah so Not even loud. You, you've been thinking you was important. You ain't nobody. You you have nothing. You have no insurance policy. Yeah. And so you're giving somebody, and when a woman you gives. You don't get to sit on the front row. No, 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 no. no. You ain't, no. You, I, that's, 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 I got to sit that's, in the that's, back. That, that's what I try to tell side chicks. You, yeah. ain't, you ain't nobody. Uh. Yeah. yeah, you ain't nobody at the funeral. You didn't get more sex than his wife, and you uh. ain't nobody. Mm. You, you didn't cook more meals. <laughs> you ain't getting nothing. So. I, I, <laughs> so unfortunate. More meals. <laughs> so unfortunate. No, no, no. So Let, I, I, let's I, go to I the comment section, too. All right. All yeah. right. Now, Celeste said, lady, people make time for what and who See. they make time, mm. uh, want to make time for. It's not like you haven't been down that road before. This is your second time around, and things haven't changed from the first time. You need to decide if he's worth wasting your time, or should you move on with your life and find someone that has the time to spend with you? Yeah. Mm. And how long does it take, you think, for someone to detox from a relationship like this so they can be ready for the right relationship. Now, now from a from a pastoral perspective, mm -hmm. I believe in something called soul ties. Mm -hmm. That when people sleep with you, they make deposits into you. Mm -hmm. So you need a season to rinse them out your soul, mm -hmm. to do your proper therapy so that, watch this, the next brother you meet, you don't have to name him Rebound. Uh -huh. Because that's all he'll be. <laughs> you might as well call him Rebound. Uh, or the next woman you meet, she'll uh -huh. just be Rebound. So I say to people, you need a season of singleness mm -hmm. if you've been in the bed with anybody. Mm -hmm. From a biblical perspective, yeah. you need a season to settle yourself, particularly if you have babies, mm -hmm. because they don't need to meet the man of the month. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, They already hurt him because yeah. of their daddy not being there. Mm -hmm. Now, here's these other brothers, and so people don't know this. Once you have children, you dating for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not just me. So you need a season to settle your mind, settle your spirit, and you're not going to die without sex. You know, sometimes there's things more important than that. Mm -hmm. Got to get my heart right. Got to yeah. get in some good church, get some proper therapy, even online spiritual Christian therapy, and settle myself so I can be a whole person going in. I don't want to be a fixer upper. Mm. Yeah, the day yeah. you meet me, you got to help fix me. Yeah. I got daddy pain. I got uh -huh. I got baby's daddy pain. I, I want to be a, as whole as I can. Yeah. To bring my proper whole self into the relationship. Yeah. Detoxing. I like that. One you know more comment I mean? before we go. All right. Now, Carol said, please know that it isn't going to change. If if he broke up with you before because he realized it, move on. Life yeah. is too short. Amen. I'm speaking yeah. from experience. Yeah. Amen. Continue to leave your comments and uh, help this woman out. And uh, we got more coming up with Pastor Vernon, man. We got we got we got to talk about some Let's education. Get Let's get it. That's coming up next on the show. ZAK.